I do actually wish I'd have bought one of these years ago. I'm really kicking myself. Right, I've got the manual in front of me. It's pretty um, explanatory, really. I didn't have to struggle. I didn't have to, uh, to look elsewhere on the net or anything like that to get any information. Everything you need is in the manual to uh, to install this this uh, filter. Um, it took about 45 minutes, and it would have took less, but I struggled to find um, the, uh, the right drill bits. One of them is 3.5 mil, and one of them is 4 mil. And uh, yeah, I struggled to find those quickly. Quickly, so that's what made me uh, made it take a bit longer. Um, not really much to add. It's very, very simple. Very simple that you have to remove one tiny little capacitor. And when I say tiny, here it is. So you can see it's very, very tiny. Um, I used a, a sharp point soldered iron and a toothpick, wooden toothpick, to, um, to to move this capacitor out of the way. And that leaves two solder pads for you to attach two wires to. Um, don't panic. These wires aren't colossal. They are quite thin and um, they're already tinned so it can't be much easier you just have to just tap just rest them on the uh, the pads and a tiny little tap with the soldering iron and it's done um, definitely don't hold your soldering iron there on there for a long time I just had to just have a, a nice um, hot iron and just touch it and it will solder on easily um, yeah so that was simple the drilling the holes was simple and hooking the power up, the earth inside is there's three earths that are crimped together that go to one of the sh one of the main board bolts, and the main power is pulled up from one of the legs, which looks like a transistor on there. So it's pretty easy again. The wire is uh, tinned, and it's pretty easy just to dot it on there. Um, space, it's not the easiest um, thing inside. There's hardly any space inside the 817, um, but there is enough space. To still fit this um, device and the optional filter, but I haven't got the filter installed, so at the moment it's resting in the place where the filter would be. So I'll have to move it when I do get the filter. But right, scores, price, I'd say, well, it's got to be close to a 10 really for um, an option like this to install retrofit into an 817. Um, when you're, you're spending thousands of pounds on um, equipment with that kind of technology installed so for less than £100 to have quality DSP I've got to give it a 9 out of 10 um, for ease of install I would say you've got to be fairly competent with a soldier iron and um, yeah, you've got to know what you're doing really I wouldn't say it'd be a first project for someone to do if they've never operated a soldier iron before so I'd, I'd I'd have to give it say I'd have to give it a a six to seven out of ten. That's just for everyone. I'm I'm quite happy with a soldier iron. So if it's um if it's just a every every ham that's uh, used to soldiering, then I'd probably give it more of like an eight out of ten. But for the for the very beginners, it might seem a little bit daunting. Um, the functionality, um, wow, it's going to have to be a ten out of ten. I don't know if I'm super generous or or it's uh, it deserves it, but I'm absolutely amazed by it. So I'm I'm um, I really am gutted that I didn't have it installed years ago. But there we go. I've I've done it now. And uh, anyone else that's got an 817, and um, I used to hate the uh, front end being really wide. And you can't even with the optional filters. I don't think it's brilliant. So you can always wind the RF gain back a little bit and um, get somewhere. But this device is um, revolutionary. So. Before I disappear, I better show you how to swap between modes, between four levels of filter and eight levels. So you've been watching this video, two, three, four, and back to one. I've been in four mode. I'll show you how to get into eight mode. So you have to turn off the 817, hold your finger on the button, turn back on the 817, wait for the two tones, and then when it pips eight times in a minute, they'll do single pips, release the button so four and now eight release the button we're now in eight mode it will beep to confirm so now if... eight and back to one 
So now this, this DSP is set in 8 mode. Likewise, if you want to get back to 4 mode, you turn the radio off, hold down the button, turn the radio back on again, and wait for the, just the 4 pips. And release. Then it's going to beep. And now I'm in 4 mode. Right, so in closing guys, the BHR unit for the 817, it's, um, I think it's one of them things that I wish that I'd had it in there from the beginning. It's, um, it reminds me a bit of the icon of um, the technology in the, the um, VSC, and it reminds me a little bit of the noise reduction on the icon. But with the noise reduction on the icon, it just seems to do everything, including the voice. And this device seems to completely focus on the voice and drop everything out. So, in some ways, it beats my Icon 7400 for for, for DSP. Um, yeah, as I said before, the front end was never uh, brilliant on the 817 on uh, SSB. I don't think. And even though back in the game back would reduce some of the hash and some of the noises, um, the DSP completely solves it. So. Um, I haven't really got much more to add really thanks very much for watching and um, there is a few more modes in there um, like uh, demonstration modes but they um, they flash on for like one and a half seconds and off again and on for three seconds and off again but I thought I'd run through it myself and um, show you how it functions itself but to get into those modes you do the same kind of way to get into to change the um, amount of pips and amount of filtering you want you'd let go after the first two tone but I didn't show you that in this um, video because it would have took too long really and my internet's too rubbish to, to uh, upload massive files so with that I'll say goodbye take care thanks for watching and um, if you haven't got a BHI in your uh, filter in your 817 you're, you are missing out bye bye M0VST